recently you posted about David Hockney pulled with two figures. You seem to be sad about this painting being at auction. Why? I don't know. I, I just... Well, weirdly, probably out of my own stupidity, I didn't realize it was not in a national institution. Um, but I do feel like there are certain works in history that transcend auction houses. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And I think sometimes it's nearly better that we don't know what the value of something is. Because I feel like it contorts the work. Do you know what I mean? And in this case? Um, I don't know. I feel, I, for me, Hockney is for me one of the greatest painters, living painters. And, and I feel it's a work, and I know it's been on public display and on long loan, but, you know, I think it's a painting that should be an institution. I feel like it shouldn't be um, about the monetary aspect of it. You know, I feel like sometimes when, you know, paintings hit record prices, it becomes sometimes obscured by that. Mm -hmm. And we don't really look at the work itself, you know, because ultimately the publicity around the figure becomes more than the painting itself. But, you know, it is the modern world and these things happen and I understand that, but it's just one of those paintings for me that I think is in the book of the great, some of the greatest paintings ever painted. And the estimate is 80 million yeah. dollars. It's a lot. Which is a lot, do you mean? And I don't know. I, I, I just think it's, it's one of my favorite paintings of all time. Um, I remember when I saw it in the retrospective, it, it never loses it. Edge. Where did you see the retrospective? I saw it twice. I saw it in Paris and I saw it in, in London. And I saw the painting well before that. I can't remember where, but I saw it. I think it might have been in America at one point. It's an icon, right? It's fantastic.